There are so many people who have applied biohacking techniques to get out of the chronic illness they have been suffering for decades together. Hi, this is Sajeev Nair. I'm a peak performance coach and a wellness evangelist and moreover a biohacker. Biohacking is a process of taking charge of your physiology and psychology by influencing and modifying your external and internal environment using scientific techniques in order to enhance the quality of life and to create a better version of yourself. Right from uh, blending unsalted butter with coffee up to inserting certain uh, you know, sensors and microchips inside your body, they are all part of biohacking. But always remember there are very simple everyday usage biohacking techniques which we can apply in our life which can enhance the quality of life. Especially being in this country in India where people have been practicing biohacking even though they were never knowing that they were doing biohacking for the past uh, uh, so many years, thousands of years, it is much easy for us to imbibe those principles and really hack our own biology. Primarily because we are rich in resources, we have so many herbs available in India, we have so much of resources in this country and it becomes much more easy if we know the techniques and the processes and the methodologies which can be applied to enhance the quality of life, to enhance the biology and the psychology of yourself. When you are avoiding sugar, even when you are not diabetic, when you are completely stopping milk or milk related products, uh, when you are actually changing your bedtime so that you understand exactly what kind of a time zone is suitable for you to wake up really fresh, actually you are doing biohacking. In fact, we are not terming these things as biohacking only because we are not measuring it, we are not monitoring it. If you start observing, if you start measuring these parameters, if you start measuring what kind of food is actually giving you energy, if you start observing what kind of food is actually pulling you down, if you start measuring at what time when I sleep, I get, you know, get up, you know, I fresh in the morning. When you start observing and measuring things, actually you start hacking your own biology. In fact, you are quantifying every aspect of your biology and psychology. Quantify means in terms of numbers, in terms of figures. Not like saying that I'm feeling good. You know, things are happening good for me. I am, I am actually, today I am feeling healthy. No, when you are putting figures, numbers onto that, then you become a quantified self-process. So this is what is biohacking all about. It's nothing a rocket science. Don't think that it's all about putting sensors in your body, putting chips uh, in your brain or uh, going for a gene editing or a fecal implant. These are all ultimate, I would rather say the extreme level of biohacking, which is not required, uh, you know, for everyone at every circumstances. In fact, some of the basic simple biohacking techniques when you apply in your life, you can see such enhancement in the quality of life, even to the extent that you can come out of chronic illnesses. I was suffering from sinusitis. I would rather say right from my college days, almost for about 15 to 20 years. Most of the days I wake up with heavy head, you know, feel like so dull. And I know that entire day is spoiled. In order to perform, I generally, you know, pop one pill, which is generally a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, so that at least I get some relief throughout the day. But it was bothering me and I was seeking many different types of medical advices and nothing was helping me. That was the time one of the doctors who is in the functional medicine field, there is something called functional medicine practitioners. You know, luckily uh, the doctor, Dr. Sri Kumar, who is associated with me in the wellness solutions business, he is a functional medicine doctor. There are very few functional medicine doctors. So I got an advice that Sajeev, better you start observing all those things which you do on the previous evening. Whenever you come across a kind of uh, this heaviness or the kind of sinusitic attack, so I started observing it keenly. Whenever I used to get a sinusitis attack on a particular morning, when I feel my heavy head, when I feel like I'm dull, I started thinking and noting down all those things which I did on the previous evening and also the kinds of food I ate on the previous evening, even to the extent that what kind of juices or whatever I have drunk uh, on the previous evening. And which actually gave me a fantastic and phenomenal discovery. I realized that whenever I used to get lesser than four hours of sleep, I used to get a headache on the next day morning. I also realized that whenever I take any diary products after 4 p.m. in the evening, or even take products which are made out of coconut, 
in the evenings on the next day morning i am having a kind of suffocation and i am having a uh, you know close nostrils so i started avoiding these things uh, one after another i decided that unless there is an emergency i will sleep more than 5 to 6 hours every night i decided to avoid the milk or dairy products after 4 pm i decided to avoid coconut or coconut related products in the night and telling you very frankly along with that i did some other biohacking techniques which are simple uh, lifestyle changes along with that i can tell you that i got out of it almost completely right now for months together i don't feel that kind of heavy head i don't experience that kind of headaches and my quality of life has improved this is not just my case there are so many people who have really experienced the enhancement of the quality of life and getting out of chronic illnesses by hacking their own biology the most important thing is observation and monitoring because most of the things we actually suffer in our life only because we don't observe we don't really study we don't really monitor what's going on when you are eating any food observe what you are eating be conscious of what you eat be conscious of what you drink be conscious of your surroundings be conscious of the places you visit even to the extent that you know when you are uh, sleeping be conscious of the bed the be conscious of the temperature inside the room the moment you become conscious and you become Uh, you started observing this kind of things you will start monitoring many things in fact you can find out that most of this discomforts or the kinds of illnesses or sicknesses you experience in your life can be really you know eliminated just by observing and eliminating those minor small things which is possible by anyone so the ultimate key to biohack is one you need to have an intention to biohack you know to have an intention you need to have a goal you need to have an objective what is that you really want to realize or achieve using your biology and psychology is it that you wanted to achieve peak levels of performance is it that you wanted to achieve higher energy levels in your life is it that you want to get out of some chronic diseases is it that you wanted to change your physical fitness is it that you want to look and feel good whatever is the objective you need to set the objective and have the intention very clearly that is the first step because without that you will not have a consistent commitment towards biohacking second is observe and monitor you need to have patience you need to observe each and every activity you do on a day to day basis including all the things what you eat all the things what you drink all the kind of people you associate all the places where you go every single thing which is happening around you you need to observe i would rather say that a mindfulness need to be practiced These are simple two keys which is required to start your biohacking journey and how to proceed in the biohacking journey I'm going to share more details in the coming videos see you next time bye